Hey guys, this is Samuel to Geek here joined by Chaos Gamer, also from FreezeCracker.com. He's played both the versions of Devil May Cry for the PS3 and 360. I only have the 360 version, of course. And um, I've I've played through it and I honestly like two better. Two is my favorite Devil May Cry of all time, although Chaos disagrees with me. I love Two, it's one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2. And to me, four was extremely freaking awesome. Best eye candy I've ever friggin' seen. Just totally awesome in every way. But it's kind of easy. I don't know. Like, I have to return this soon, so I didn't get to play through the whole game, but the parts I played through were so easy, it, I, I don't know, it just didn't seem like a Devil May Cry game. One of the things about Devil May Cry that was so friggin' fun is it was harder than hell. So, yeah, I love the game, it is awesome, it has great eye candy, the controls are dead on, although I felt a little awkward not playing with the PlayStation controller. I gotta tell you that right now. So, Chaos had something to say about bosses, and he wanted to give a little insight on the review as well. Um, guys, the boss in the PlayStation 3 version on, um, I was playing on a, a Devil Hunter mode. It was like w w uh, walking on crutches on black ice. It was that fucking hard. It was, it was basically one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in a Devil May Cry game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he says that some... You believe it's the processor that lets the AI... I believe it's the processor. Because there's eight cores and it can process more things at one time. Yeah, because honestly, I played the guy on, on, you know, the 360. And I played one Devil Hunter mode and it was... it was. I have to say, it was, easy, it was easier than hell. I did not even try and I beat him. Yeah, the same thing with the 360 version. I played the 360 version of the uh, the boss, the fire boss at the beginning, and um, he was easy to beat it. But yeah. he couldn't play it on the 360 on the PS3 version. Couldn't beat it. I couldn't. I got him about halfway down, and then he just fucking whacked me with his tail. <laughs> yeah, this game is really really fun. I like it. It was it was a really amazing experience. One of the best first-person games on the 360, since the 360 is more of a multiplayer console. Technically more of a third-person game, Sam. What? Third-person sword slash shooter. No, 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 no. I, I was I was talking about single player, as in you know. Oh. One one person plays because the 360 is just riddled with tons of multiplayer games. So yeah. it's nice to see a nice single-player one on the 360. It's nice to see a change. Yeah. Especially, it, this fits right in with the 360. I mean, it took a little while of getting used to the controls on the 360 because I was so used to the PlayStation controller for this game. Because, you know, all the Devil May Cry's before it were on the PlayStation. So, but a after I got used to it, I loved it. I, I can't use it. The game is speed. The PlayStation controller, I don't know. I, I, I like the PlayStation controller when used with Devil May Cry 2. That's why I, I say... Devil May Cry 2 is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2. I feel like my eyes are about to explode. It looks so good. Yeah, seriously. I have played it in 1080p today. And honestly, it's one of the most beautiful games I have ever freaking seen in my life. It is just awesomely beautiful. You can't tell really from the screen, from the camera how good it looks. But if you play this game in 1080p... Your eyeballs are just going to explode. They are just, it's just brilliant. The art direction is brilliant. And whoever art directed this game, thank you. It was just freaking brilliant. I can it, I cannot state enough how awesome the game looks. You got to play this in 1080p. If you pick this up, find a friend with an HDTV, hook it up, play it in 1080p. You will just be amazed. It was breathtakingly beautiful. And does the PS3 version look any better, per se? With different aspects, yeah. I think um, the PS3 version has a better brightness ratio than the Xbox 360s because of the shader clock. Yeah, the 360 was a little dark in 1080p, but it still looked beautiful. 
Especially in the cutscenes. Oh my god, they were gorgeous. Well, maybe. Uh, uh, well, I have an 8,000 to 1 contrast ratio 1080p TV. And, um. I don't know how to say on HDMI, though, because my 360 is not the one with the HDMI. I know, I'm using component for HDMI right now. Well, I'm using component for HD right now. Well, component uses 1080p anyway. So, yeah. 1080i, technically, but I tricked my Xbox 360 into thinking it's 1080p. No, no, no. Component can do 1080p. It just can't do it as fast. Yeah. It takes signal time. Yeah. But it still does it beautifully. I don't know. And for a first per person, you know, a first, a single player person like this, you know, it's not that bad. The shooting in the game is kind of dulled down, though, I have to say. Because you, it's auto-aim. Yeah, but not only that, but the shooting in the game is just like, you really can't kill things with the gun. Again, like the first it's one. It's basically just to hold slow. It's basically to hold slower enemies back, like the zombies. Yeah, because like second, like in in the second Devil May Cry, it was just like one of the best weapons. You you would use it all the time, and it'd kill things like the crows. And do you remember the crows in Devil May Cry too? Yes. <laughs> yeah, those. Yeah, I honestly love the game. One of the best game. One of the best first you know single player games on the 360. And I definitely recommend getting it. Well, not really getting it. I recommend renting it because rent it first and then see if you like it. Yeah, because it's a different it's a different kind of game for the Xbox 360. But yeah, if you're... it doesn't really appeal to the 360 crowd that much. Anyway, this is Sound to Geek and Chaos Gamer out.